Hi, I'm John, and I've got some rosemary here. We're at Carmel Lavender Distillery, um, but it's March, so the plants are still months away from being harvested. But I always like to try to find something to do with the distillery to keep myself busy. And yesterday I went over to a local winery who grows a lot of rosemary, and they allowed me to cut some, and I'm going to do some rosemary distillation. Rosemary is good for a lot of things. Uh, you can use it in soaps. Uh, you can use the hydrosol to spray on countertops in the kitchen. And it's also just a good for aromatherapy. So we're going to go run some of this through the distillery today and see what we get. Since I've already shown the entire distillation process in the lavender distillation video, I'm not going to go through every detail of, the, of distilling essential oil from the rosemary we just saw. However, it is good. Let's go ahead and take a look. We're starting to get some rosemary essential oil out of the distillation. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Here we can see the rosemary oil coming out of our distillation. Looking here, I've got about 25 milliliters of oil out of this last batch. I've run, this is the third batch I've run, and I seem to have consistently yielded somewhere between 25 and 30 milliliters per batch. I usually get much more with the lavender oil, but it's not an insignificant amount. I'm happy to be getting this. I actually enjoy rosemary oil quite a bit, so I'm excited to be getting any. Well, thank you for joining us here at Carmel Lavender on this rosemary day. I hope you enjoyed watching us distill rosemary essential oil and will join us again for a future program.